Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got us a beer mail package, another one from uh, CraftCity.com, Serve All Liquors. Donovan and the guys out in San Diego. Let's get this out of here so I can show you what we got from these guys. Alright, first one out of here. This is Saturday Morning Cartoons, and it's got wax and fruit loops in the wax on the bottle here. This is uh, this is done by Brew Rebellion, and they're out of San Bernardino, California. And this is everyone enjoys a rebellious spirit now and again. Apple cinnamon breakfast cereal milk stout. Wow, sounds very intriguing, guys. Not a big beer, 5.7 percent alcohol by volume. So uh, something you probably could have for breakfast. So, uh, don't think I will have it for breakfast, but uh, you could. Alright, the next one out of here, guys, is Farm to Barrel. This is Hoppy Sour Azica, A-Z-A-C-C-A, -C -C -A. Uh, Barrel Aged. This beer is Agriculture. Proudly brewed in Northern California. Sour blonde ale aged in wine barrels and dry hop with Azica hops. And this is from Almanac Beer Company. And this is, I think it says on here, alcohol 7% by volume here, guys. Very, uh, very colorful bottle. Got a lot of stuff on there. And they've put this, they've stuck this green label. It's a silk screened, uh, uh, artwork on the bottle but they've stuck this green label onto the bottle so whether they're coming up covering up something underneath there or they just, just decided to add that green label I'm not sure of so and as far as dating guys we'll look at these bottles when we uh, do the reviews and see if there's any kind of dating on some of this stuff alright uh, this next one is Caribbean chocolate cake 7.4% alcohol, silk screen on the label. No, it ain't. It's, it's a stick on the label. Ale with cocoa nibs, lactose, and aged on cypress wood. Cigar City Brewing. And it says best before 16 has the significance there as far as the year, but 2409, I'm not exactly sure. So we'll look it up and see, see what the deal is on that. And it says Siren Craft Brew. And uh, Cigar City was etching their bottles, but I don't see anything on this one. So maybe they've switched over. Uh, product of England. Brewed with collaboration with Cigar City. So, uh, this one, uh, this one come across the pond, I guess. Siren Craft Brew. Uh, let's see what it says. Ingredients, water, malt, hops, yeast, cocoa nibs, lactose. Brewed in bottle, Ainley Ales Limited. Trading as Siren Craft Brew. Berkshire, England. So, very, very interesting. So let me set that up there. All right. And when you order from uh, Donovan and the guy, they package it up in these specially star, not styrofoam, but plastic, clear plastic containers. It keeps all the beers from clanging around together and keeps them protected. Very nicely done. Uh, next one here is Mice Mike Hess Brewing. Of San Diego. This is the Grapefruit Solace Grapefruit IPA. And it says here 70 IBU, 7.5% alcohol by volume. And it's got the malt and the hops listed here. And here it got a little stamp on it 0476. So we'll try to decipher that when we review it and see when that particular 
code means. Let me set this one up here. And next one out of here, we got a Salaganitas. This is their citrus, citrusing, citrusiness. This is, or something like that. Citrusiness. I'm probably pronoun I'm probably butchering that all the hell, guys. Citrusiness. That's what I'm coming up with. It's a pale ale, guys. It's 7.9% uh, alcohol by volume. And they probably got some silly code up here on it somewhere. And like I said, we'll look at the, on these bottles a little closer when we come back and do the reviews. So let me pull this one and set that one out of the way and set this up there where you can see it. Alright, guys. The next one out of here. This is Rogue. Uh, this is their Chipotle Ale. And it's got Risk, Dare, Dream, and Green on the neck here. Rogue Farms, this rogue was brewed using ingredients grown on Rogue Farms in Oregon. From ground to glass, we're proud to say it's a true taste of Rogue Terror. To learn more about Rogue Farms and this Grow Your Own Revolution, visit us at Rogue.com. Uh... No chemicals dedicated to, yeah, let's see, I was looking for the ABV on here, guys. Chipotle ale, ale brewed with rum foam, chipotle peppers. And this is a bomber. I do not see it. I'm sure, yeah, it is. It says 5.4% ABV. 40 IBUs. So, let's pull the Fruit Loops beer out of the way. Set this one up here. I do like a nice pepper beer uh, occasionally. I don't think I'd want to drink them every day, but uh, I do like nice spicy food. That would be a good one to have probably with some tacos or nachos or pizza or something like that. Alright, guys, the next one out of the box here. This is, oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Hulum. Hulu Mulu, Hulu Mulu, Modern Times Beer, Happy Tropical Double IPA, 10% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, I don't see, it says hops too many to name, two row pale malt and dextrose. And uh, I'll get into more of the stuff that's written on the back of the bottle when we do it. But I've seen some of the other reviewers re review this. So, uh, very interesting beer, I'm sure. So, let me pull this out. Set this one up there where y'all can see it. Got three bombers sitting up there now. Alright, the next one out of the box here is Green Flash's Cosmic Ristretto. Baltic Porter with Espresso, Roasty and Smooth, and this is a big bottle, I mean, I, I haven't seen this size bottle from them, it's a pretty good size, it says 1.6 fluid ounces, 8.2% alcohol by volume, 45 IBUs, and it says Best Buy 06, July 16, so, the 6th of July of 2016 is when they want you to have this by. So let's pull this. Set this out of the way. And set that up there where y'all can see it. Big bottle. I mean, it's as big as a bomber. I have not noticed them to do the beers and bottles that big. So, new one on me. Alrighty. The next one. Oh, we got, this is called Fruitlands from Modern Times. Fruitlands Apricot. Sour Apricot Goza beer. So we got two from Modern Times. Fruit bands. Apricot fruit, pilsner, malted wheat moths, and 4.8 uh, alcohol by volume. So very low ABV, uh, a session ale, if you will, guys. So let's pull this one. Set this one out of the way. I'm just going to set it down here on the lower 
set this one up here. So, very nice. All right, take the next layer, get down to the final layer here, guys. And the thing about these guys, uh, Donovan and the guys out there at Serval Liquors in San Diego or CraftCity.com on the internet, uh, if your state allows them to ship beers to you, you can order right off their website and they'll box it up just like you see this and ship it right out to you. So, all right, guys, I got us another big one. This is Stone's Bitter Chocolate Oatmeal Stout. 9.2% alcohol by volume, ale brewed with bitter chocolate. And this was bottled on January the 15th of 2016. So, so let me pull this one, and I'm going to set it right in front of this one. And slide this up there, and it's got a nice colorful label like Southern usually does. Got their emblem on there. Very nice. Alright guys. Next one out of here, this is the Nkasi Brewing. This is their Velo Velo Chahoptor. Velo Chahoptor. And it's a double India Pale Ale. 8.4% uh, alcohol by volume. And a lot of times they date underneath the label. Yep. Right here on the bottom. And it's really hard to see. It's got 2016 on there, but I can't read the rest of it. I'll put my glasses on when I review it. But, uh, then Kasi does some really tasty stuff. I just need to, to date all of it. And like I said, make it where you can read it without having to put your microscope glasses on. <laughs> That's the only plus I got them. But they make some very tasty brews, guys. So, let's get this out of the way and set it down. And slide this one up in there where y'all can see it. And finally, the last one in the box here today, guys. This is an addition, the Immortal IPA. And uh, this is a uh, Indian Pale of course. And it is 6.3% by volume. And this was packaged on 1-8 of 2016. And it's got some stuff written on here. And I might read that to you when I do the beer review. Illusion Brewing is uh, known for making some tasty stuff. Some of their stuff's kind of pricey, especially you get one with the wax and stuff on it. It's uh, kind of expensive, <clears throat> but they do make some tasty beers now, guys. So, well, let me pull this last one up and set it down here and let y'all see the label on that one. A nice, uh, nice big beer, beer mail box from uh, from Sarbal Liquors or CraftCity.com out there in San Diego. So. We're going to get these into the fridge and get them chilled down. Speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. <laughs> 